Ooh. Hi everyone, back in the itch Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new real Bad Man in Blue record, Bad News. This is a brand new LP from West Coast rapper Blue, who's hopping on a bunch of beats from music production brand Real Bad Man. I'm not exactly sure how you would categorize it, but Real Bad Man is making quite a name for itself lately. Not just in beats, but also as a label and a fashion brand too, as the whole thing is spearheaded in part by Adam Weissman of Stussy fame. So yeah, Real Bad Man is a name I'm seeing a lot more lately as they have been dropping records uh, with Boldy James, Smoke Dizza, Pink Sifu, Cool Keith, and now one of my personal faves, Blue. This man has been penning incredible verses for over a decade now, from his commercial debut with Exile Below the Heavens, which for a long time was considered to be his best. However, his career has been getting a kind of a creative second wind as of late with the narrative A Long Red Hot Los Angeles Summer Night, another fantastic record with Exile, the uh, modern jazz rap classic Miles. There was also recently The Color Blue, which I think uh, had some of Blue's best rapping to date on it, and also uh, some of the most ballsy sampling you're here on any hip-hop album this decade. Now, bad news here I don't think is as momentous an occasion, uh, with it being pretty much just like eight tracks. It adds up to a brief 22 minutes as well, but I think this thing is still a solid collection of tracks from Blue. Let's maybe get the low lights out of the way mentioning the intro track, which is not my favorite, but still uh, not all that bad. I just think it's a uh, kind of scant, the beat doesn't necessarily jump out at me, and a lot of the song is taken up by um, a snippet bit from this Robin Hood Men in Tights bit, which uh, while is funny, uh, plays out very tediously uh, throughout the entire outro of the song. Then there's Fall of Rome, which I think has to be the most uh, lo-fi in terms of production on the entire record. The drums are like barely there. And as much as I do like the horn loops on the track, uh, there's just something kind of missing rhythmically. Then beyond that, we have Blue rapping on the front end of the song, which is great and fine. Uh, but following him, there's this string of completely unmemorable features Features. The talent gap between Blue and them is quite large in my opinion, and they just don't really hold a candle to the CL Smooth and Planet Asia placements elsewhere on the record. But beyond that, the rest of this thing is super on point and consistent, and much more impressive than I thought it would be given its size. You get some beautiful, groovy, chopped up chipmunk soul beats on the track Hebrews, a track whose title pretty much gives away Blue's plan to wax poetic on spirituality and uh, religious mythology. and. I just love his unbroken focus on this track topically, how deep he goes into it, whether he's rapping about Jesus feeding people or Moses or Adam and Eve. It's the kind of Christian rap that actually comes across as tasteful. There's also The Hurt, which I read as uh, kind of being old man rap in the best way, with Blue reflecting on his past and some regrets, uh, times he second-guessed himself and successes he's seen in the music industry. But he also has a lot to say about aging on this thing and uh, being past his prime in a way, but still pushing forward and staying creative, which obviously I'm glad he's doing because a lot of what he's been dropping lately has been mwah. Not to mention that his ability to spit with a great flow and a very fluid narrative is becoming more and more of a lost art, especially at this level. There's a lot of good food for thought on the track Aladdin 2. Love the strange and mystical samples all over the beat on this one. Blue drops lines reflecting on imposter syndrome and obsessing over other people. I'm fascinated by someone I'm not, though we all from the same fucking rock. I I love this line about death too, where he says, actually, when you think about it, we never leave earth, we become earth, your flesh becomes dirt. And of course, there are some spots on this thing where he's uh, not so much telling a story, he's just being flashy, giving us some great rhyme schemes with concrete confidence, knowledge, wisdom, understand, just decipher with mine, the Eiffel I climb will most likely stifle your mind. And it goes on, sounding even more fire. I also love the way uh, that these boxing match sounds seep into the mix as he's uh, referencing exactly that on the chorus. Then CL Smooth on the track, absolute legend, uh, comes through, sounding amazing vocally, and lyrically tying into the themes of blues verse and chorus. I love it when a collab is on the same page. Now, I don't want to completely downplay the production here because it is quite good.
quite good and does steal the show occasionally like on All Praise Do. Banger! The thumping bass line and kicks on this thing, the little organ chords, those rhythm guitar hits, those soul vocal chops come together so harmoniously, yet also punchy and fragmented in the fun way that uh, great hip-hop beats can be. Blues flow on the track sounds stellar as well, I just wish it was longer. The perfect pairing of Blue and Real Bad Man on this record, though, has to be more bad news, with its gruff bass and crisp drums contrasted uh, with some very pretty piano hits, these angelic and chipmunk vocal samples too, sliding in and out of the mix like waves of the ocean. Lyrically, Blue is bringing back some of the themes of the intro track, Bad News, and being a bit more thorough about it this time, which is great, as he spits about abusive cops, random gunshots, the trenches of LA, with a great chorus asking, ever wake up to the bad news so bad that it sticks to you like tattoos? But I wouldn't say the song is all doom and gloom though, there is hope and perseverance to be found there too. And that's pretty much the album, it's just a really good pairing of Real Bad Man in Blue, great beats, great flows, even if it is like a tad bit uh, predictable and I guess formulaic for this brand of underground rap. It's a little lo-fi, it's a little grimy, it's got a lot of soul, it's got a lot of jazz, samples flying by you at a million miles an hour, quotable bars, it's witty, it's funny, it's personal. There's just a few tracks that pale in comparison to others and generally uh, the whole thing is a little short of breath, but even if I was left wanting more, the vast majority of what's here is quality. I'm feeling a strong 7 to a light 8 on this one. Transition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Real Bad Man, Blue, Forever.